if a student comes up to you and asks you to list three things that really helped you pass your FE exam, what would you say to them? Oh yeah, everybody now. I would say um, definitely being consistent. And consistent is different for everybody. Yeah. Like for me, it was flexibility. For some people, they need a rigid schedule. Like, oh, I only am studying from 7 to 9 p.m. every day or 5 to 7 a.m. every day. Whatever works for you works for you. For me, I didn't. Sometimes I studied in the morning, sometimes in the evening. Sometimes it was midday when I had a slow day at work or, you know, I had some time in between. So I, it's whatever works for you, but whatever works for you, just as long as you're consistent. And I would say at least showing up five days a week, because sometimes you do need that break and you have to allow yourself that break, you know, one day in between, like maybe Wednesdays you don't study like midweek because it's like, you're just, you don't want to burn yourself out. So whatever consistent looks for you, but I would say at least five days a week, you know, if you can't get seven, you know, some people have to do every day. For me, five to seven was good. If I had a day off here and there, that worked for me. Because that's how I don't burn out. So that would be my first advice. Um, second would be practice exams. That really helped me. That was the one thing I did different this time than all the other times I studied is taking multiple practice exams and realizing what type of test taker I was. Mm -hmm. Realizing that I have a tendency to want to solve every single problem. I don't like skipping. I have to know the answer, you know, and being okay with, okay, the answer might not be on there, but I'm going to pick the closest one. Or I don't know how to do this problem. Let's skip it and come back to it. Let's keep moving through the rest of the exam. So realizing what my strengths and weaknesses were as a test taker, I think really did help me with the, and especially with like time management, knowing what my weaknesses were and what was holding me back and making me take more time and wasting time, you know, realizing that I think that really did help. Um, and I think third would be just going into the exam, not stressed out. Mm -hmm. Like the morning of, I think my exam was at 12 o'clock. So it wasn't early morning, which normally I'm a morning person. I wanted the 8 a.m. time slot. They didn't have it. I had 12 o'clock. I'm like, oh, 12 to 5, that's midday. I don't like that. But I was actually happy because I spent the morning. I went to the gym in the morning at 8 o'clock. You know, I came back, had a really good breakfast. You know, I relaxed and I went into the test at ease not like oh my god I have a test to take the first thing I'm gonna do is get up brush my teeth quickly grab a snack and go to my exam you know it was more like I got my full morning routine done and that was nice and went into the exam a little bit more relaxed so I think that's important on the day of the exam doing your normal routine and going into it so I mean if you're going to schedule the exam and you see an 8 a.m. time slot and a 12 p.m. time slot or a 10 a.m. time slot, maybe pick a little bit of a later time than the first morning time slot. So you have some time to do your morning activities or meditate or relax or do whatever it is you have to do to like calm yourself down, calm your nerves down before you go into the exam. You better be on your A game. Um, and that means um, diet, exercise, good sleep. Uh, and then at least for me, I needed the prep course and doing a lot of practice exams. Um, I can't stress enough how important that is yeah. because after the prep course um, or during the prep course, you have the temptation that, oh, you know, cancer will solve it in the next video. So, <laughs> but once you start taking the test and you're by yourself, nobody's holding your hand, you know? Right. Um, so that, that's how you really train for it. Number three would be um, a good support system, good friends, good family there. Um, number two would be uh, discipline, discipline and sticking to a study schedule, sticking to making sure that you are uh, really understanding your topics. Um, and then number one is a trust in 
in your in a higher power. For me, that's uh, that's God, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and for others, that might be something else, and that's uh, that's them. But for me, uh, having a trust in knowing that there is something bigger than you, knowing that this is just a small exam for a future in getting a career and making money, and that's great, and that's a if you make sure you're doing it for an honorable goal. Um, but for me, it was a uh, going forward and knowing that hard work and discipline and taking care of my family was honoring to to God. Um, first thing I would say is understand the material. Do not rush. Understand the material first of all. Second thing, and maybe the uh, I think it was second in terms of importance is um. Be consistent with the study. And oddly enough, the third thing I would say is don't be fearful. Prepare, mm -hmm. do your best, and just go do it. Because I I, I, I think I overstressed myself a bit. Um, and I did follow your advice, and I did exercise, but I was extremely stressed. Yeah, uh, it was even this morning I was talking to my wife uh, yesterday. I was letting her know that um, she knew I was stressed, but I don't think she knew exactly how stressed I was because I was telling her all the variables. I, I actually, today I started packing up my stuff and start fixing uh, my study area um, because I just left it. All my books to calculate everything I just left because I'm like yeah you're going to be using this again <laughs> so I would say Jenny prep one uh, definitely you know, making it taking the time out to sit down and study and go over all the material leave no rock unturned and three uh, don't overdo it you know during your process of uh, studying for the FE, go out like once in a blue and just enjoy life a little and then get back to it. Just enjoy the learning process. A passing the exam will, will, will come. Just to enjoy the learning process, stay consistent. Um, and then let's see. Another one would be to help pass exam would be probably um, try to change your mindset a little bit uh, differently. Whatever you're thinking right now, whether uh, most likely it's going to be negative, change that mindset. Um, there is a, um, you, know, you know, choose your heart, you know, uh, this this little model, choose your heart. And I would write it out, choose your heart, maybe, is uh, studying to pass your exam uh, is going to be hard. But not passing your exam is going to be hard as well. Choose your heart. So mm -hmm. that's a choice. It's like, so you make it a conscious choice uh, for yourself uh, to, 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 to help your subconscious mind push you to the right directions, I guess. So uh, changing your mindset a little bit. Um, and, and then the, the next one would be probably just be proud of yourself. Like you're saying, you know, just be proud of yourself that you're, you're doing it. It's a diagnostic test, nothing else. You know, it's not, it's a diagnostic test to say where you're at um, and what you need to do to improve. It's like um, when you go to uh, the doctors, you know, uh, to do blood work, they give you a diagnostic test of what's happening in your blood work and what you need to do to help improve on certain, certain things. If you want to uh, to avoid certain things. So it's an, a diagnostic test to help use it as a diagnostic test. It's nothing else. It's not to, there to make you be a shameful of uh, to, to, to stop taking. It's, it's there. It's really there to help you out. Definitely. The first one is the right study material. So I always recommend your course to everyone that is in that situation. Um, two, is time. You got to find the time. And I know we have very busy lives. We have work, we have family, we have other extracurricular activities, but there's got to be some time dedicated to that. And uh, I heard so many other stories from other people talking about 
um, waking up at 4 a.m. and studying two hours and then they go to work or or coming home after work and studying or whatever your schedule is, you have to find that time because that's how you put in um, the work to, to achieve this goal. And uh, a third one would just be um, something that I didn't really take into consideration is um, give yourself the time and the, mm. and, and uh, um, that wellness that you need. Um, during my study time for the year, uh, my wife would say, hey, I'm going to go on a walk. Do you want to go with me? And I would say no. I would say no because I thought I'm going to spend an hour or two going on the walk, and coming back that I could be using to study. But towards the end of your uh, course prep um, on, on a Saturday meetup, you know, you talked about um, getting your mind ready and your, your body ready. And you, you recommend it. Go, go and take that time. So that last month when I was doing my prep, you know, she would ask me, hey, I'm going to go on a walk. Hey, I'll go with you, too. And it took that one hour, two hours to break. And it helped me clear my mind, get it ready for when I came back to start getting back on, on track on where I was, where I left off. And that's helped out so much. So uh, I noticed right now she's doing the same thing. And I keep telling her no, because I'm kind of trying to pass the, the eight hour. But, you know, I got to go back to those basics and, and make sure I take care of myself and my mind. I think the main one, it will be don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, give yourself a break. Um, don't dwell too much on the negative results. Second, mm -hmm. like be able to identify where you're, um, where you're lacking off. When just like it's either your study habits, study environment, how do you study, how do you prepare, all the prepping courses, material that you take, be able to identify the things that are going to really help you. If you can, if you have something to, comp if you have negative results that you can compare with, uh, let, let's say I, I see that, you know, I, I did really good in math. I did really good in strength of material, but I'm really uh, struggling with uh, engineering economics. Then focus on those courses that it's going to make you, you know, bump your numbers for the, for the results. So, and then, yeah, like. Be strict with if you set a set a time like you know enroll for the test and then backtrack it. How many weeks do you need to to really prepare for this? Uh, if you if you have like five subjects that you're really struggling with, then focus on those first and then go back and refresh your memory with the other subjects that you that you know that you that you can can solve and everything it's in is fresh in your memory. So yeah, be I guess be like take it easy on you. Um, don't dwell so much on the negative results. Uh, identify what works for you when it comes to studying. If it's like just focusing one one subject at a time, it's focusing like you know a couple of subjects at a time that the works. Uh, and move on. Like the main thing is time management during the test. I would like to say I would just stuck in one question. I wouldn't let myself move forward to the other question because in my head is like I have to solve this one. I know how to do it. Yes, I knew how to do it, but when it's when you're under uh, the the under the clock, you stress more because you're like, if I don't finish this in two minutes, I'm gonna those another two minutes are gonna be taken away from my time to solve other problems. So just have that in mind that you can come back to this problem and and be able to solve it. So yeah, I think that that and don't don't give up. Don't don't give up. Like I know it's. It's easier said than done. Like it's money, you're just, you're spending money, but you can you can spend that money in other things that are not gonna give you anything back. So uh, spend money in something that is gonna like put something into your future that is gonna help you in in the long run. Not things that are right now. Like well, maybe I can travel this year because I have to like study, I have to like invest my money in this course, I have to take the test. But later in the future. You, you will be able to do all those things.